and CBI cases have been in the limelight recently with the opposition in multiple states, Delhi, West Bengal, Maharashtra, etc., all repeatedly accusing the centre of using central agencies to specifically intimidate and target the opposition. But do these allegations hold any ground? NDTV's Mariam has collated data on agencies' action during the Modi Sarkar. The NDTV analysis says that there has been a 365% jump in political rates in the last eight years. Mariam is joining us now. Mariam, what does your data tell you? NDTV had compiled this first of its kind catalogue where we looked at any and all kinds of coercive action like registering of cases, questioning, raids, filing of charge sheets, arrests, etc. by law enforcement and investigating agencies under the central government including the CBI, the Enforcement Directorate, the Income Tax Department, the Delhi Police and also the centrally run JNK administration. This was done last year and has been regularly updated and currently catalogues all such action until July 2022. But before we get into the staggering results that our analysis has thrown up, we must let our viewers know that despite our best efforts, this may not be an exhaustive list. And it is also important to note that we are not commenting on the merits of these cases. We are simply trying to quantify what has been shared anecdotally before. Are central agencies being used or misused to target different forms of opposition? Now let's dive in. Our analysis found that since the Modi government first came into power in May 2014 and until July 2022, action has been taken against 648 people who are seen as the BJP's political rivals. Most of these, about 466 of the 648, are BJP's political rivals, their relatives or their aides. We also found that there has been a massive jump, a 365% jump in such action since the Modi government came into power compared to similar action under the UPA2 government. We will take you through those numbers in more detail in a little bit. But it is not just politicians who have been targeted. Critics and ideological rivals have also borne the brunt. Media, who are seen as independent or critical of the government, are targeted. Like the Dainik Bhaskar and the Bharat Samachar, who had covered the devastation of the second wave extensively, or more recently, the arrest of Zubair of Alt News. Activists like Sudha Bharadwaj and others in the Bhima Koregao case, or Harsh Mandar, are on the list. Critics like the Amnesty India, Anurag Kashyap, are also on the list. And even bureaucrats who have questioned the government or seen as close to the opposition were also targeted. Let's not forget the tax cases against Election Commissioner Ashok Lavasa's family members after he had disagreed with the clean sheets given to Modi and Shah during the 2019 elections. The problem here is that the Modi government does not seem to go after their own in the same way. While 648 of the BJP's rivals and opponents have seen some coercive action, similar action was meted out only to 48 a measly 48 of the BJP's own members or their allies. In fact, total politicians, their relatives and associated, associates targeted between May 2014 and July 2022 were 514. Of these, 91% were the BJP's political rivals, while only a measly 48 or 9% were the, in, uh, I beg your pardon, 9% were the BJP's own members or their allies. But governments using agencies against critics is not necessarily new. Let's not forget that it was during the UPA2 regime that the Supreme Court had famously called the CBI a caged parrot. The question here, however, is has there been an increase of such action under the BJP governments? Now, if we look at the numbers, we see that under the Modi governments between May 2014 and July 2022, there has been action against 79 critics on average every year. Under the UPA2 government, the number was much lower, at about 17 on average a year. This is a whopping 365% jump. Virtually everybody, from the Abdullahs and Muftis in Jammu and Kashmir to MK Stalin and his family of the DMK in Tamil Nadu, almost every political rival is on our list. But amongst the politicians, Congress has taken the largest hit. 80 of their members were targeted, including an IT notice to the Congress party itself. Mamta Banerjee's Trinamool Congress, which has emerged as one of the most vocal opponents of the BJP, is a distant second, 
41 of their members were targeted, including investigations by the Enforcement Directorate, the CBI, and even the IT department into funds received by the party itself. Then we have Mehbooba Mufti's PDP in Jammu and Kashmir with 21 members targeted, and then Arvind Kejriwal's AAP with 19 of their members targeted.